Hello and welcome to the Toy News Recap. First up this week, Sideshow, who released final product images of their R2-D2. This will be 1-6 scale and these images show the exclusive edition, which will include utility circular saw, laser arm and space linkage arm, as well as the accessories already included. The exclusive is now sold out, but the standard version is still available for pre-order for $149.99, and these are due out around the end of February. Hot Toys have revealed new images of the Age of Ultron Captain America. This will be 1-6 scale, feature a new head sculpt and helmet, new tailored suit, four sets of interchangeable hands, shield, figure stand and a complement of accessories. It will also include magnets in his arms and back so that you can attach the shield with ease. This is due for release in either the second or third quarter of 2015. Pre-orders for Mondo's Iron Giant are now live. This will feature interchangeable heads, war arm, 30 points of articulation, Hogarth figure and a metal girder. This is due for release in the third quarter of 2015 for $300 and there will be a limited edition version that comes with a detached hand that will cost $315. True Force have created a Kickstarter for a Mega Man figure. They are hoping to create a 6 inch scale figure with over 30 points of articulation, light up LED Mega Buster, interchangeable parts and a figure stand. You'll have to pledge $80 to get one of the figures, however other incentives are available and they need $200,000 in total to put the figure into production. There's a link to the Kickstarter below. In hand images have been posted on eBay of an upcoming Marvel Legends 3 pack. Courtesy of Viper's Kingdom and Falconer 3933, these images show the Age of Ultron Toys R Us exclusive 3 pack which will include Nick Fury, Agent Coulson and Maria Hill figures. Hasbro also revealed their next line of hero mashers, revealed on the Forbes website, this line will include Captain America and Ultron, Hulk and Iron Man, and Vision and Thor from Marvel's Age of Ultron. From Star Wars are Kanan and Zeb, and from Jurassic World are the Dino Assortment, Triceratops and T-Rex figures. And from London Toy Fair 2015 we got our first official images of the Jurassic World line. Shown were the chomping T-Rex who will stand 18 inches tall and catalogue images for other various assortments. We also got official Hasbro images for the various forthcoming Age of Ultron lines including Miniverse, All Stars, Titans and more as well as new Marvel Infinite figures. Courtesy of the Marvel Legends Facebook page we've got our first look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Age of Ultron series. This will include Captain America, Spider-Woman, Hellcat, Batrock, Hulk, Iron Man and a Thanos Builder figure, and Viper's Kingdom has already started selling these on eBay. And we also got our first look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Spider-Man series, which will include Anti-Venom, Daredevil, Spider-Girl, Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, and a Hobgoblin Builder figure. And Jedi Temple Archives have released new Star Wars figure images. These show photos for both upcoming Saga Legends and upcoming Rebel Saga Legends figures. There's a link to the article for you to peruse at your own leisure in the description below. And Big Bad Toy Store have posted the pre-order for a Marvel Select Age of Ultron Black Widow figure, but with just a silhouette and no actual product image. And meanwhile Comic Book Resources gave us our first look at the Marvel Select Age of Ultron Hulk figure, who's sporting his new shorts and will stand around 10 inches tall but will not include a base. NECA have posted new images of their conquest of the Planet of the Apes Gorilla, this will be part of Series 3 of the classic Planet of the Apes line, will be 7 inch scale and come with meat cleaver, rifle, machete and SWAT shield. They also released new photos of their retro Mego style Freddy Krueger based on his appearance in A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. These show the alternate head sculpts, interchangeable hands, the packaging art and it's due for release in March. And NECA also announced that they'll be releasing in scale alien facehuggers. These will feature bendable tails so you'll be able to wrap them around the faces of your favourite figures and impregnate them with baby aliens. Post your favourite alien action figure hybrids below. DC Collectibles have revealed their next Batman the Animated Series figure. This will be the Scarecrow based on his likeness from the new Batman Adventures. This will be part of Series 5, will be 6 inch scale and is due for release this autumn. Also revealed was a Deadshot bust in an article on their website. This will be designed by Jim Lee and is due for release in April. And they posted their solicitations due for release in August. These include Designer Action Figures Series 1 by Jai Lee, consisting of Batman, Superman, Catwoman and Wonder Woman. Batman Animated Series Rocky Rockset Deluxe Figure. Icons Green Lantern Statue. Bombshells Lois Lane Statue. 
Batman Black and White Batman by Brian Hitch statue, Batman Black and White Batman by Darwin Cook second edition statue, Batman Black and White Batgirl by Babs Tar statue, and a superheroes Catwoman bust. And DC Collectibles also posted a video of their upcoming Wonder Woman Art of War statue, the link for which is below, which is based on the Robert Valley Wonder Woman animated short for DC Nation. They also posted a concept to collectible video for their bombshell statues in which they revealed a bombshell Batwoman that will be based on a bombshells variant cover where Batwoman wore a Gotham Knights baseball uniform. And they're not quite done yet, DC Collectibles also revealed a DC Icons Firestorm statue which is scheduled to be released this fall term. Now over to Japan with Tamashi where lots of new SH Figure Arts figures have been revealed. The SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Mac will come with additional hands, Zenrin Shooter, Megal Advent Signal and Funky Spike Tire and Shift Car. This is due for release in June for 4,320 yen. The SH Figure Arts Rider Maka will also be released in June, costing 5,184 yen and will include two more Signal Advents from Mac and an effect part for the Funky Spike Tire. Tomashi have also confirmed the release details for their SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Ryugan Yomo Suhiguri Arms. This will be a Tomashi Web exclusive released in June for 5,400 yen and will come with the same Overlord weapons as the Arms Change figure. They also announced that they'll be reissuing Kamen Rider Gaim Orange Arms, again scheduled to be released in June. And the last two members of Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan are finally getting released. Images of SH Figure Arts Vol Shark and Vol Panther were first shown in Figure O magazine before official images and info appeared. These will be released as a Tamashi Web exclusive 2 pack in June for 9,720 yen. Also shown in Figure O before official images were released was Doris from the Kamen Rider ZO movie. Again, this will be a Tamashi Web exclusive released in June and will cost 5,400 yen. Also shown was concept art for Kikaida and Hakaida SIC figures and a closer look at SIC Kamen Rider Birth and his backup rider Proto Birth. Tomashi released official images of their Ultra Act Ultraman Tiger Sky Type and Power Type 2 pack. Each will come with a set of extra hands and effects parts and the set will also include a new version of the Guts Wing 1 vehicle. This is another Tomashi Web exclusive due for release in June costing 9,180 yen. And finally, official images of the Makai Kado Beast Garo Light Awakening have been posted. This will include interchangeable hands, Tamashi stage and his massive sword with movable blades. As usual, this is a Tamashi web exclusive due for release in June and will cost 10,584 yen. Shuriken Sentai Ninja DX toy videos have been posted on YouTube. These show the Shinobi Ichibangatana and the Deluxe Shuriken Jin, both of which are due out late February. Kyodo have revealed an alien vinyl figure. The Mega Safubi Advance MA005 Big Chap Alien will be almost 20 inches tall, is due for release in April and is priced at 23,000 yen. Images courtesy of Tag Hobby. Now over to LEGO who have released official images of their 2015 Scooby Doo sets. These include the Mystery Machine, which will definitely be popular and cost around $30, and the Mystery Mansion set, which will cost around $90 and include all the main cast as minifigs. And LEGO released official images of their Age of Ultron sets. These were posted on Amazon Japan where you can go to check them out in detail, and also revealed was the Hulkbuster set, which will include Iron Man, Ultron, Scarlet Witch and Hulk minifigures, as well as a buildable Hulkbuster armour that will fit around the Iron Man minifig. And we got our first look at series 14 of the LEGO minifigures. Courtesy of a user on Baidu.com and Brickfinder on Facebook, these images show the first 11 minifigures and you can see that this series will definitely have a horror theme to it. And over to Diamond Select Toys where Kevin Smith has revealed new Minimates figures. These will be based on the cast of AMC's comic book Men and were shown at the famous Red Bank comic shop where the show is filmed. Marvel Axis Minimates 2 packs were also revealed. Marvel Minimate Series 62 will include Sam Wilson as Captain America vs Red Onslaught, Superior Iron Man vs Apocalypse, Carnage vs Hobgoblin and Sabretooth vs Clue. Diamond Select Toys also released new packaging images of Series 2 of their Godzilla Minimates which will include Atomic Breath Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, Hedora and Jet Jaguar and this is due for release on February the 2nd. Funko have revealed Big Trouble in Little China reaction figures. Shown are figures for Jack Burton, Gracie Law, Lopan, Rain, Thunder and Lightning and these are due for release in February. 
Funko also revealed upcoming Age of Ultron pop vinyl figures shown were Vision, Iron Man Mark 43, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Ultron and Hawkeye. And Hot Topic will be selling an exclusive Age of Ultron Savage Hulk pop vinyl figure. Funko also accidentally revealed their super size 6 inch Hulk Buster pop vinyl figure on their website before removing the page. However, the image has been spread across the Funko community and fortunately we're able to show it to you here. And they also revealed more Age of Ultron products including their Age of Ultron Mystery Minis Series 1 blind bag figures, Fabrications Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man and Thor and their Age of Ultron Mini Wacky Wobblers. LOL subjects have shared official images of Wave 1 of their Mighty Morphin Power Rangers action vinyls. The Wave will feature 10 figures including Red, Blue, Yellow, Black, Pink, Green and White Rangers, Goldar, Rita and Lord Zed, as well as Chase figures. These will be available in three ways through the LOL subjects website. There's the Wave 1 display case which includes 16 random blind box figures, a bundle of 8 random blind box figures and blind box singles. Pop Culture Shock have previewed several new products in their latest newsletter. They showed a He-Man and Battle Cat diorama that is due to be fully unveiled at this year's WonderCon in April. They also showed two Street Fighter statues including the final approved design for Street Fighter 4's Oro and a work in progress sculpt for one third scale Akuma. First four figures are creating a line of statue based on the Legend of Zelda The Wind Walker. They'll start with a 1-6 scale Ganondorf, which will stand around 15 inches tall, come with dual swords and cost $249.99. There'll also be an exclusive edition that will feature LEDs in the base, costing $269.99, and these are due for release in the third quarter of this year. And finally, Hollywood collectibles have fully revealed their Aliens power loader. The studio scale replica is based on the original plans from the film model, will stand 33 inches tall and cost $1,199.95. And there'll also be an exclusive version on sale that will include the blueprints also. And that's all for this week, thank you very much for watching, please remember to like, subscribe and share and we shall see you in a week's time.